Hey guys, Uke and I want here. I'm going to show you guys how to make grenades and special grenades on the Infamy mod pack. Anyways, this is a really cool mod that does this. And basically, every single one of these grenades is going to be some form of this condensed explosive right here. So basically, the way you're going to make this condensed explosive is put it in a crafting table, put this in there like this. It's two TNT with a redstone in between them to make the condensed explosive. And then after that, you're gonna um the next would be the grenade I guess, which can be made by putting um two TNT in a redstone to make a condensed explosive, and then the condensed explosive with a string on top to make a grenade, which is pretty simple. And the grenade does damage like so. Let me pull out some grenades real fast so we can demonstrate. I'm gonna pull out one of each. I'm trying to get them in order. Sorry. Anyways, the grenade does damage like this. Just does a little hole, just about like TNT does, except for you can throw it, which makes it very convenient for use. And the only reason it does not disappear from my inventory is because I'm in creative mode. Do not think you have unlimited grenades. <coughs> Next would be the shrapnel grenade, which is made by, <coughs> you need to first make a repulsive explosive which is by stacking two um, condensed explosives on top of each other yes it does matter how you put them into the crafting table if you try to put them side by side it's going to make a repul um, an attractive rather than a repulsive which is what you need and you're going to want to surround uh, the um, repulsive that you then make by arrows to make the shrapnel explosive once you have the shrapnel explosive you just put a string on top and then you're able to throw the grenade the shrapnel explosive is really cool what it does. It fires out little shrapnel that's on fire in all directions and will usually catch things on fire. Occasionally it will miss. Let me see if I can hit that spider. There we go. But when it does hit, it does a pretty good damage. You saw it did 11 damage, which is 5.5 hearts. Anyways, next would be the anvil grenade. And I have a picture of that, obviously. Anyways, the anvil grenade is going to be made by putting an anvil well first of all you're going to have to make shrapnel explosives which you can see how to make them through here and then you're going to want to surround it like you're going to have to get eight shrapnel explosives around one anvil and then you're going to wind up getting ten anvil explosives out of that so basically you can make ten grenades at a time by putting the anvil uh, anvil explosive on the bottom with a string on top and you're going to get ten anvil grenades and anvil grenades I'm not a huge fan of them they don't really do that much damage they are really hit and miss like the shrapnel and it doesn't even do nearly as much damage well, actually, that time it really did. It did 12. Also, it doesn't have the effect of fire, which breaks people from running, which is not as good when you're trying to fight somebody. Anyways, Anvil is very effective from close range, but and it sometimes glitches through blocks, so, yeah, that's helpful. Also, it does break signs, so be careful about that. Next we up, we have the Kimmel Grenade, which is does it just has an insane amount of damage. I would really recommend using this grenade if you're going to use any type of warfare where you want to destroy someone will destroy someone but you don't want to kill their house you want to keep it intact so you can loot their items or whatever first of all if you're going to want to make poison powder which is made by putting a spider eye by a rotten flesh and you wind up with three poison powder but you're going to need eight of it to get the repulsive around an expo repulsive explosive in order to make the chemical explosives which then you just put a string on top to make the chemical grenade the chemical grenade I'm going to have to test out on myself here seeing as though let me make sure that none of these kill me real fast. But anyways, I'm going to have to test it on myself so you can see the actual effects of the grenade. I'm going to go ahead and make a little tower up here. Then put myself in the game mode zero. Oops. There we go. Make a little room for me to throw the grenade or whatever. Make sure I get it on here. Alright, I have gotten on there. It does take a second to blow up, so be careful of that. Anyways, it's going to do like insane amount of stuff to you. It's going to give you weakness, hunger, toxin, nausea. Nausea just like makes your screen go all weird and you can't see where you're going. It really messes up your depth perception, so when you're trying to walk, you have no clue how if you're about to fall off the edge or what's happening. Toxin obviously does damage to you. Weakness and hunger obviously make you hungry and not be able to hit as hard so it's just one of the most effective grenades against players possible and it doesn't matter really that your distance from it as long as you're within the range you're gonna get 
um, hurt pretty badly. Let me turn my chat back off in case someone on here starts talking again. Anyways, next up is the repulsive grenade. Which is, you just put two kinds of explosives on top of each other, once again, to make the repulsive explosive. And then you're going to put a string on top of a repulsive explosive in order to make the repulsive grenade. Which is used as, so it can be used in grenade mounting, well, hopping, I don't know. It, you do do fall damage, and you'll wind up with about a heart or two, and it also does block damage, so be careful about that. Don't try to, I don't know, grenade jump off your home. Whatever, but it is very useful for getting over obstacles and such. We may make a parkour arena where this is necessary soon. Lastly is the attractive grenade, which is an attractive explosive is made by putting two condensed explosives side by side. This is if you want to be getting the wrong thing if you try to stack them up or whatever. But if you, d it's made by putting a string on top of the attractive explosive in order to get an attractive grenade. And the attractive grenade pulls you into it as it explodes. It does not do very much damage, about half a heart, no matter how, what your dis distance is from it for some reason. And it does do chunk damage. And it pulls everything near it, as you can see. It's going to yank that spider towards it. And me as well. So anyways, that's your little basic grenade tutorial. If there's anything I left out, be sure to leave a comment or um, about that. Or just let me know on server. Don't spam me though, I do. <laughs> With 75 out of 75 players on most of the time, it's really hard to get a word in to all of them and answer all of your questions. So if I don't answer you, I'm not ignoring you. It's just probably being spammed it's or in private message or not, or I'm either taking a break. Anyways, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and be sure to st keep up with our videos and see what's next. See you guys later.